Welcome to game two of my drafting. I'm Zombie Skittles and welcome to Infinity Wars. We're continuing our draft. This is part two. I'm sorry I've broken this up. It just seemed easier than doing uh, multiple 20 minute episodes. And yeah, so I'm probably going to break it up into the first part, which is drafting in the first game. And then part two, which is this and the next game because assuming I lose I'll probably do it in two game lots all right uh, I can only do that let's bring him out to swing and end our turn so we've got he's done his mana ramp he's got he's running a three color as well defense beast and flame poops actually undo that do we want this guy out I think we do uh, yeah and we'll swing with our unending drone I probably should have aimed to get more unending drones in. Oh. You cheeky bastard. Way to sneak in the quick hit. Alright, well what, then we're defending, I guess. We'll bring out our two flyers. Oh, let's not end our turn yet. Let's let's just run out and swing swing for ten to make up for our our stupidity last last turn. Alright, you gonna make a move? Oh, you bastard! You cheeky shit! Okay. Oh, and I like the hit sounds. So we'll just fly over his head then. Um, we won't bring out Bad Box. Bad Bot's a waste of power. We'll bring him out. Uh, do I do anything else? Let's see. He's a five. He's a six-five. I got nothing powerful enough that he... Can I select a commander? I can. That still won't kill him. But, this guy will. I think that's our move. Kill a rooter, kill a guy with flying, sure. Bam. Beautiful. Those two... Yep. Yeah, I'm fine with that, bro. Because I can do this. Then I'll probably want to... Do I want to? No, I don't. I'm just going to bring out this guy and this guy, and I'll hit. And I'll either hit you for eight, or yeah. So, ah, oh, this is a really interesting game mode because I have no idea how my deck works. I've just sort of, I treat it like my magic drafting because I'm horrible at magic drafting. I just slam all the cards together. See what I get, you know? If it's great, then hooray. Okay. This guy can block characters with flying. Cool. So we'll do that. We'll drop our flying guy as well. What's he do? He's just flying. Just as just as I suspected. We have one mana left. So we're gonna activate, do that. And hopefully surprise hit him for a ton of damage. Because right now, he's still got the five-point lead. <laughs> yep, sweet. You know your flame ram dies now, bro. Cheer. Yeah. Take that. Sweet! Wait. Oh, he halved the damage with his shiny Zonshin. That basted. Alright. Let's bring out Caretaker. He hasn't got an artifact, so we're just going to use that to deal 4 damage there. And... 4 damage there? I guess? Doesn't really do anything. Uh, we're going to pull him back, because I reckon he might try something this turn. Um... Oh, I need to block the... No, I don't need to block the Flame Ram. I just destroyed it. What am I talking about? Let's see what he does. Alright, so he's got an unstoppable, he's going to hit me for 28, and I'm going to hit for nothing because I expected him to try to stop me. That's unfortunate. Okay, recycle. Hmm. What costing creatures have I got? I could totally bring out a 12-12 right now. And pay resources equal to... Oh, I've got to pay resources equal to that card's cost, so that would cost me 6 to create a 12-12. Is it worth it? I'd say in this current economy, yes. That cost me six. Uh, and we can breed for one. 
And then I guess we may as well fly and hit. Hmm. Other than that, we need to block because he's going to start swinging for damage, for kills. Do I block with him? He'll die. I think I'll block with him. I, I mean, it's a waste. But I do that and I'll only take 18, potentially a little bit more damage. And I'll still hit him for 20. This is me thinking out loud. I'm so sorry. Bring out a 4-4. Four, four, make it a 12-12. Then bring out a 4-4. Four, four. Beefing him up. Yeah. The moment I saw that card end up on his discard, I figured that. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> Alright. Now we're going to bring out the big guns. Uh, can't, we're going to undo that. We're going to... Pay three to shuffle vandalize back into our deck. We got zombie gone. That is worthless to me. I really regret putting that in the deck now. What's that do? That just killed Oh my god. Okay. Um we're screwed. We are boned. Let's see, that'll kill, kill. And then Oh man. I have to Oh and I've become exhausted this turn. Let's see. That'll block those two. He'll block him. He'll block him. And then I take 7 damage. 8 damage. I think that's the way to do it. Until... Oh, this could be bad. All depends on what he does. This is a tight game. Oh, don't... Oh. What's he done? Repaired his fortress. You cheating cheater. Oh, I'm ruined. He doesn't have unstoppable, but that's okay. What did he think I was going to do that he chose to block? Okay. Uh, Winds of War. And I'm completely okay with copying. I can't cop any damage, actually. That's not what I should be. I shouldn't be even contemplating being mildly okay with that. Um, pay five to draw a card or shuffle a card in? Shuffle a card in. We will shuffle. Recycle in. Get my vandalized pack. It's so unuseful. Let's activate. We're just going to bring out. Let's see. I've got three resources. I can't use him. I can, apparently. Alright, sure. Uh, and turn. See what happens. So, Winds of War should just wipe out three of his characters. Oh no, because that one takes one less. What? What? Good game. Slaughtered twice. Slaughtered twice. Alright. I'll see you next game. Alright. Game three. Here we go. If we can win at least one game, I will consider this a victory. He does nothing turn one. That is beautiful. That is exactly what I want to see. Um, we should bring out... Caretaker. And turn. What's he do? He's running Undead Beast of Aurora. Okay. Uh, we got three, so let's do him. And let's just swing for six. Well, he, yeah, slow recover, slow start for him, so we'll take full advantage of that. Pull back. Drop that. We have two left. We'll bring out him as well. Oh, yeah, we'll bring him out. And we'll fly over the top of him. Hopefully hopefully catch him off guard because he's not prepared for it. He is not prepared for it. Beautiful. So, I mean, it's only four damage, but we're slowly pinging him. Slowly ping it in. Let's... We're already at six mana. So... Let's drop... This to... No. <laughs> Instead, we're going to just keep flying over the top of him. And we're also going to defend with our big chunky guy. Big chunky tree jungle guy thing. Creature. Okay. Swing for four. Knock out. Beautiful. Zombie gone. The tech comes through. The tech comes through. Love it. You're not a beast, are you? You're a spirit, so I can't actually activate you. I can activate you. And we can start creating those 4-4 beasts. At the same time... 
let's do do things which will end in results such as bring it we need to use our mana you cannot play a unique card when you already have a copy in play fair enough you know that is a reasonable thing to say I totally respect that and I guess I will just draw a card and it's recycle okay now here's what I'm going to assume he's doing winds of war because he pulled out we're also going to zombie gone and we're going to zombie gone him in hopes he becomes a legal target if he doesn't it's a waste but we are assuming his play style we will continue to breed and we'll try we'll make him feel better let's see what he does yep there it is he didn't win the war but my zombie gone will kill both BAM because it kills the undead and the undead adjacent this is a way better match than before alright so what's this do again it creates a 4-4 for every creature that died of mine the previous turn. Of course, none of mine have died this turn. So, hurrah! Let's let's just start swinging, swinging for gold. I think that's our optimal strategy here. Yeah. Let's just start hitting him. Hitting him in the nads. Let's do that. We're going to get rid of fight. Yeah, that's, that's awesome, actually. Alright, so we're going to trade kills there. I think I'll recycle that zombie gone. Because we're against an undead deck. 21 damage. Take that. Beautiful. Landstead will be fantastic next turn. Alright, take back that zombie gone. Why are you on top of the deck? Graphic, graphical problems. Let's make him a 12. 12-4. 12 and we're also going to weaken your creature. Take that. Beautiful. What you gonna do? You're gonna die against my, my beast. I didn't think I bred a beast that turn, actually. Can't remember. Hitting for 26. Another kinetic drone. Another dude. Now, do I landstead this guy or swing with him? I think I'm going to swing with him. Swing with him. We're going to put our strongest at the back. Bring in a defense. Oh, okay. Actually, we've got to take into account these guys. Um, shit. Let's... Let's see. The first guy will block all four of these guys. The second guy will block him. So... Let's do that. We'll kill both of his guys and swing for four. Yeah, called it. I called it. These guys will all wipe out these guys. My first three will die. But then it's a clean slate after that. Or he'll b beef both of them up and I fail. That was actually quite the disappointment. Okay, so we'll pull back, pull back our lady friend there do that. He's going to kill my kinetic overpowered drone unless I do that. He's going to start setting up a heavy defense. So, let's pull back my drone and we're going to landstead his face. Turn him into 10 one ones. Do this instead. Because he'll kill him. Uh, yeah, that's our safest move, I reckon. Then... We'll ping him for another four. Oh, he's gone. He's gone offensive. He's angry. So instead, we're going to hit him for eighteen. Apparently, should have kept that ten ten out. Oh, what's he doing? Okay, okay, calm down, bro. Calm down. Yep, yep, yep. Sure thing. All right. Hit me for seventy three. Sure. Now, just the card I need, except won't work until next turn. So we're just going to block a heap of your guys. 
You get some 4-4s, four whatever. I'm going to pull him back. Bring out our 12-14. And our two five fives, And we'll see what you make of that. Yes, now we still got 11 mana. So we're going to bring out... We're going to do that. Cost 4 and we'll get an 8-8. Eight, eight. He's exhausted now. And because we still got mana, let's draw a card. Alright. Beautiful. I think we actually can win this. Alright, let's see. We block, don't kill. Or he blocks and doesn't kill. 31. Jesus, man. He needs to calm down with that. How much does it cost? Like, it's only a 1 cost. Alright, so we got our 8-8. Eight, eight. Trade and he'll hit me for 4. And he'll score some... Dudes. Oh no, how horrible. He is killing my creatures. Now I'll bring him out and swing for tons, I guess. Uh, just for safe measure, we better bring both of them out. Now, secluded constructor. Put 8-8 eight, eight on him. Which is 9, which will bring it, make it 13. 15. We need to hit for 23. 17, 19, 21, 23. Okay, it's an exact KO, provided he doesn't change the rules on me, which players often do in this game. Let's see what he does. I don't know what that creature does. What is that? Okay, I've, I've got it. I've got it. You've put things down. Okay. Can he die this turn? I don't know what this guy does. It, it could be the Crippler. Alright. Yep, we're doing the trades. Swing. I swing over the top for the kill. He can't kill me. We win. We won a game! Awesome. Alright, so that's... We've done three games now. We're going to have to go to a part three. I'll see you in part three, where we will hopefully continue this streak. See you then.